What's well, good YouTube, Justin Farm here guys. And it's time to start the project guys. It's time to start the Cadillac project guys. If you guys don't know, I've owned this Cadillac for about, I think three years now. It's Cadillac Fleetwood, Broham, De Elegant, something like that. It's top of the line, it's 1990 for its time guys. It has, I believe, over 300,000 kilometers guys, but I got it for a steal guys. So you can't beat it. Got it from the, one of the original owners as well. I believe the second owner. The chrome on everything's good. Still have the grill. All the chrome lining right now. It's all still in good condition. Nothing's really rusted. The frame was solid. The body's 100% straight. The whole reason I picked it up. Like the doors and the interior is just immaculate guys. Like some rust here and there. Like if you guys can see. That's one of the whole reasons why I picked it up. And especially since the paint. Because I really wanted to repaint. I'm really into the bodywork type of thing. So that's one of the reasons why I picked it up, guys. As you guys see right now, I just have fuses in there. But for the interior, guys, just look at the interior, guys. It's crazy. It's crazy interior. If you look at the back, the back is just beautiful. The interior is still good. The dash is good. But there's the crack right over there. If you guys can see, it's kind of hard to see. It still has the original thing. Like everything original guys. Steering wheel could use some TLC, a little bit of leather stain on the steering wheel. But then again guys, nothing too hard for me to do. Steering wheel, I mean the seat right there as you guys can see. Starting to kind of gray out with a lot of dirt. That will be using a degreaser and cleaning on that. But yeah, you guys will definitely be seeing this video out. But yeah, the main thing is guys, this baby doesn't. It has a 5.7 liter V8 and it's not currently running. It needs a fuel pump, guys. But it did turn on the last time I tried. And for the winter, guys, I had it covered and whatever. But since the windstorm, I had to take off the car cover. And for the Shelter Logic, I had to save it. So the Shelter Logic didn't hit this baby, but just look at it, guys. You can fully see that, like, it's still shiny, guys. It still has a Cadillac finish to it. It's beautiful. The rims, I still have inside, guys. The spare tire on the opposite side, it has a Stephanie tire, I need to change that, but look, the chrome trim, guys, everything is still beautiful, still in good shape, like, it's beautiful. If you guys are wondering, all the badges I took off, whatever badges I could to save, even around the hood and the back, the vinyl top had been redone by the previous person, so it's in perfect condition, as well as the roof had been done. But let me just show you some of the work it needs done around it right here, as you guys can see the back door right there and right there as well as well as the wheels but once you do open it up right away you can see the door seals have somewhere in tear they would be needing some work as well as there and inside the door that is I believe the only tear that is on the leather right there on this side but right there you guys can see the elegance never I don't believe it's been smoked in as you guys can see it's just a little rust here and there um what else is there Power windows for this, guys. That's the pretty cool thing about it. 1990. The emblems over here, they're not really too cracked. Kind of faded. They can be used changed. Um, other than the seats, the back seats are not too bad, guys. A little bit of leather cream and leather conditioner, guys, on them. It would fix them up right away. As you can see, the door jams have no rust other than this area right here, which is, and it's not shot through right now. So it's my time to start working on it, especially over there. The floors are solid, the carpet's been redone, as well as the roof, guys, if you guys can see. Or actually, I believe it's original carpet, the roof vinyl, the roof top has been redone to like, so, like, you guys know what I mean, because it's the vinyl top of this stuff starts sagging and stuff. So it's been redone as well. That's one thing I have to fix right there. And I gotta get a rear view mirror as well. But from the back here, there's my car cover, guys. And you guys can see the other door right there. The windows back there guys it really is beautiful and then from the driver's seat guys if you really look in here there's a tear right there <laughs> i was talking about the us the only tear in the car what am i talking about guys there's the main one right there that's something i'll be p patching up in one video as well but that's not too big of the flaws right now and then it's just you guys can see that's the paint touch up i'm talking about around the steering wheel guys and then digital dash for the 90s and the crack i was talking about in the dash is right there guys but for a 1990 Cadillac, guys, this thing is gorgeous. Let me just quickly get out of here and show you guys the back. I don't want to make this video too long. But what I am doing, guys, I am removing all the chrome. So all this trim right here, I'm going to be removing so I can actually sand this thing down and paint this. Because whoever did paint touch up on this did a fairly well good job. I believe so, but like he didn't. 
My bad, guys, for a second. It, that was the cutlass I was remembering for a second. The cutlass had been repainted. This car hasn't been repainted. This is the original paint so far. So if you guys can see, to order to paint it properly, you need to remove the chrome trim and actually sand down in between here. If you guys can see and actually paint it like it would originally be painted from the factory. Because you don't want to just tape it up above this and try painting because then you'll start getting rust in there. Because a lot of the rust is coming from where the chrome trim is if you guys can see over there like that rocker panel there the chrome would be have to be removed especially for back here how can you not remove this chrome trim and fix this rust right here so yeah i'm going to be removing whatever i have to remove especially the back headlights as you guys can see they're not 100 on properly but i'm going to be removing all the chrome whatsoever everything i can that thing i didn't really try too hard on and then so I can get ready for sanding and paint, guys. Because you guys already know it needs a primer so it doesn't start rusting. It needs a little bit of fiberglass fix here and there. Some sanding. I just can't wait to give this thing some love, guys. So this is Project Cadillac, if you guys know. Sanding back here would, won't be that bad, guys. If you guys can really see it. Alright, guys. So I removed most of the chrome from over here. If you guys can see that right here from the doors and whatnot. And also from the hood. As long as it's going from over here, I remove the chrome trim going over there as well. And from the front grill as well, guys. So right now I'm working on the back headlights before I go to the front headlights. So I can paint this thing properly. But right away you guys can see this is metal. This is plastic. And so these are the uh, tail lights I'm removing right here, as you guys can see. So I got that plastic, uh, I mean, the chrome metal chrome bezel off. As you guys can see the difference. And I took this bezel off right here. And if you guys are wondering, you guys are going to need a 15, uh, size 15, one of these uh, star hex bolt thingies. That's going to go on that bolt right there. So if your taillight would be like this, you would have to put one, take that one out right there, and take that one out right there as well. And then it would get to like this. And then in here, if you guys can see, there's one 7 millimeter bolt right there. And another seven millimeter bolt right up in here. So in order for me to get those bolts, especially the one up in there, I'm using just a small thing with the extended reach. So I can easily get up into the one in there and I can get into the one right there without damaging the chrome or whatnot, guys. So I'm gonna quickly remove that and I'll show you guys how that it looks, guys. All right, guys. So I pulled out this headlight inside of this one because this top bolt over here is giving me some trouble. I'm gonna have to deal with it. So the bolts that are coming to come out right here, guys, are seven millimeter bolts. So I use a seven millimeter hex, and I just use a long one to pull them out. And you guys already know, there's a top bolt and there's a bottom bolt. A one bolt actually just dropped in there. I'm gonna have to get that. That one should be, if you guys can see it, oh, it's like right here. Oh, got it. There's that bolt I was talking about. So now you would just disconnect the back of this leads right here. And be cautioned for spiders and stuff like that if you guys don't like spiders. And so the next step would be unbolting the bolts right there and taking out this corner light if you really want to. But the main thing is just getting the bolts out and getting this main metal part out so we can start doing some body work or getting this thing lined up again when putting it on properly. But before doing that right now is we got to straighten up everything in rust and paint. And get all rid of all the rust, a little bit of bondo here and there. And deal with everything guys so that's the reason I'm taking these tail lights off right now so I can do it fully instead of just leaving one panel that looks good and not doing an entire full job because I'm gonna just gonna paint it nicely one time guys and clear coat it lots of times <laughs> should be a nice project guys hopefully it turns out good so I'm gonna quickly remove these and I'll show you guys how it looks quickly all right guys so I quickly pulled it out just one quick tip is make sure you guys are careful with this sensor looking thing right here Make sure you guys just pull it out from the boot, just like how you pull out a spark plug. And this thing's connected right over here, if you guys are wondering. Right over there into that hole. So don't pry on this or anything so it doesn't break. And then there was a bulb there, a bulb there, and a bulb there. And I think another small bulb right there. It's pretty crazy, guys. You can see how many lights there are. And then here's this bulb connection going in there. So there's a lot of connections, a lot of lights. These Cadillac lights are really cool, guys. So now I'm going to start... Removing the next bolt set so I can pull this thing out guys. So just by the looks of it uh, Looks like the bolts are going to be that bolt right up there 
and I believe those two bolts right there if you guys can see that one there and that one right there and those should be the ones holding this as well I'm not too sure if I see any more maybe oh no that's just the trunk stuff right there but yeah guys that's pretty much it so I'm gonna pull these bolts on I'll show you guys how that is all right guys so I removed the two bolts from over there that were over here guys now there's another one bolt on the bottom right back here. It's kind of hard to get to if you guys can see it's loose now. So uh, that's one more bolt I have to remove. I believe it's a 12 or a 13 millimeter. And then my brother came out so we just started moving this five side fender panel right here. And if you guys can see that's, that's the same thing that's right here. On that side right there that's just right here. So this bottom one's metal and then this one's plastic. And the way that this one, this one's actually hooked up on this one piece right here, there's a spring. So you guys gotta be, be careful about that one. And the spring is over here on this backside part right there and whatnot. And then there's just clips and all the, the springs over here at the bottom one. But yeah, guys. So now we're just gonna continue removing most of the chrome trim. And it's just nice to see like, yeah, it's a beautiful Cadillac in general, but I could just quickly paint it like this, but that won't be the best paint job, guys. I want this thing to be nice. Because there's no point of painting it again. Because if you actually paint the car properly, you won't have to paint it for like 40, 50 years. You won't have to paint it again in your life if you paint it and actually take care of it. Like, you agree, right? Yeah. Like, I'm not talking about like if it's a daily drive car, okay, then I understand there's rocks and chips. But if it's a show car and you painted it professionally yourself, you have to control on how many coats of paint and how many layers of clear coat you put on that car. And I guarantee you, the more clear coat layers of clear coat you guys put on, the sun will, won't affect anything of that paint. You go ahead and put seven layers. GM, they only put one layer of clear coat. That's how it is. But look how it is. But these cars, since you have the long hood, that's how it just started fading. But most of it got touched up and whatnot. Nice car. Oh, it's a beautiful project car. I love this thing. This is, this is if you guys know, this is going to be our tribute to um, Sopranos, the Tony Soprano. So the main actor that died guys in like 2013 2014 i forgot his name right now it's tip of my tongue i can't remember right now right and then so yeah guys i'm gonna have the sopranos on the back in red vinyl and that window and whatnot and hopefully later on we can do some airbrushing on this hood that'll be cool right yeah. like airbrushing meaning like i want to have the table with the sopranos and like them all sitting and stuff just talking and whatnot on the back so it actually has some type of thing and then you guys already know when you open the trunk mares in the trunk mares in the hood i want to make this a show car because clearly you guys can see this is something that's not in original condition anymore it needs to be restored right other than the cutlass there's no point of ruining the cutlass since then that's beautiful original condition so that's what i mean by this but yeah we're going to finish removing the trim right away you guys can already see we removed some trim over there this side's fairly good there is a gloss to the car right yeah for the sides and for the back too, there is a few work that needs to be done, especially over here. I know over here I need to work on it and whatnot, but sanding down, I cannot wait. That should be pretty good, guys. All right, guys, so quickly just to show you. So I use the non-marring pry, non pry bar, and I use this tool as well, and the, this thing. And I use a lot of these Stanley tools as well, and that's how I'm getting it off. I use the non-marring pry bar, or I just use that, that orange thing right there. That thing's supposed to not damage anything, so I just used that, and I got it all off, and I just pulled whatever clips there are, and you guys can see what I mean. Like, how can you not pull the trim off? Like, you know what I mean? Like, the car has been touched up with the trim, so you literally would just have the trim on, and you would try... I don't know if you guys can hear that, some wolves over there. But yeah, look at this. We got some already some raw and some mold. You guys can see it's going to have to be fixed up a little bit over here most likely we're gonna have to take the top off to see what type of rust is under there even though the top is in very good condition guys we'll have to see most likely i'll try to leave it because it looks like there's minor rust but i don't want to make the job like end up rusting from there so we're gonna end up having to redo the top if anything we'll see i was hoping there wasn't gonna be down that much mass there but it is what it is guys and then yep so that's how i got that stuff out guys i just used the that pry bar thing. Now I got this entire piece out. And you guys can see. Just like that. The entire piece came out. Around that back end of the Cadillac. Right here. It's 
pretty cool. So over here, the same thing looks like the previous owners, one of them did some patch up stuff, tried to make it the best before they did the vinyl top that got replaced, but I really do not want to rip the vinyl top because it's in such a good condition, but judging on how it is right there, there is rust there, right? And this stuff, you never know what it is back there. It needs to be fixed up. But yeah, guys, you guys know what it is for Project Doc. The vinyl top's only going to cost, what, two, $300 to get a replaced brand new. As long as I just keep these badges right here on the sides and whatnot. And I should be able to get it refixed brand new. Especially if I don't rip it up and I just cut from the seams. I just get it unstitched. And then I can always stitch it back on, hopefully. <laughs> right? From a upholstery person. But yeah. That's just a quick update on that. All right, so I'm showing you guys how to, he's quickly removing these things. So that's quickly just prepping them. And easy as that, guys, it just comes off. So he already prepped those ones so easy. I'll just be pulling them all off in one line and I'll be putting them in a Ziploc bag to save. So then after that, oh, if I go to the opposite side here, you guys will be able to see right here, this is what the end result would be. These metal little, I don't know if you get a better angle. Like right there. That metal kind of like the end of a nail right there. Just in the just into it right there. And that's how all these uh chrome pieces are held on. You guys can see there's a shiny one. And that's how they all are. And also there's they're going over on the hood as well of the vehicle. And this is how they are. These ones are a little bit longer. They're different than these ones that are on this side these longer ones are for the hood just in case if anyone's wondering and then these ones over here are for the door and the trim around the back up to here and then for the back there are special black ones that hold down this vinyl top down as well type of thing so that's pretty cool all right guys so if right here this is the spring thing i'm talking about so, if you guys can see that, that spring action, those are the springs that are in this bag right here. So you guys gotta make sure you remove the spring back there and you'll be removing it from the bottom inside and that's how it'll be coming out. Just a quick look, that's the panel that just came off from there with the spring I was talking about. And you guys can see, if you can just imagine just not painting or not removing the chrome trim at the bottom and just painting the top. Look at this guys. Just look at that. It's definitely rusted. It's not that bad. I know you guys are like, holy sh god damn, I know that thing's rusted, but it's not that bad. If it's really a little bit of more metal that can be welded to it from the bottom, that's the whole reason you got a welder. And it should be perfect. Whatever little panels here and there will need to get replaced, I'll replace them. But I don't really want to replace this entire panel right here. Cause that's one big panel guys if you guys know what i mean as well and whatnot that back door has a little bit of rust so i want to deal with everything now focus on this area right here so if you guys can see this is what i'm talking about i was just telling him look at this it's just rusted not too much effort let's see what's under here That seems a little bit solider. But if you guys are telling me, I know pretty much people are gonna be like, oh, you're, you're probably not supposed to be doing this, but yeah, you are. <laughs> In my book, you get it with a hammer, hit it as hard as you can, knock whatever metal that's not good right now and replace whatever needs to be. You can almost portion it out, add new por portions, weld it in, sand it in. Hell yeah, it takes so time, but it's worth it. That's why it's called Project Vehicle, right? Yep. So it's not that bad. So I'm just gonna quickly move this panel here too. This this one over here. But first I gotta remove these clips and then I'll show you guys what this thing looks underneath here and let's see if the rust is continuing all the way up. Let's see how bad it is. But clearly you guys can see this is a sign of what? A Canadian vehicle. This was a mobster vehicle. I guarantee you Robert De Niro was driving this thing in the winter. <laughs> all right guys, so we removed the chrome fender flare trim over here on this side. And there are, I believe, like around five bolts. And those are the holes right there. They go through, I think, more than five. I think they're like eight, five or six. And they're like in here. And there's like one here, one every couple inches, seven, eight inches. 
and we removed it from there that's how it looks with the trim on that chrome trim and this is how this side looks right now be sure to get more work done on this side right here you guys can see we have the back fender fully almost cleared out this is the main rust right here i was just going out with the plier just moving it so most likely i'm just going to use a drum mold or an angle grind and just cut through that and whatnot so i can shape it off for the next mount to be welded we're working on removing the screws for this chrome trim piece but those two ones over there are giving us some hard time so we're just going to have to um we're going to use a dremel and we're just going to cut the screw head off so we can pull the trim off safely and then that way we can pull off that little bit right there we pulled off most of the chrome trim right there it's laying on the grass right here as you guys can see came off without any damage we put all our hardware and all our screws and stuff in here guys and keep everything safe and as you guys can see this is what i'm talking about so if you guys can see, there's the front, and that one's how it looks still on. And we have to remove the chrome trim right there around the wheel so we can remove this, the bit that was over here. So we unscrewed the screw that was there so we can remove this off. And same as over for that back one over there, you're going to have to unscrew that thing. But if you guys can kind of see, there's that chrome trim all the way on the bottom, guys. So at the very bottom of the vehicle, there's going to be a screw right there. So a few more all the way down, I think five or six, same number. And they're seven millimeter bolts. And you want to unscrew those. And then to finish removing that trim, I already pulled those out. You guys want to open up the door. And if you look in the door, there's a star screw right there. Or a Phillips head, whatever you guys call them. I usually call them stars. <laughs> I'm just like that. And right there, so number two. You guys want to pull those out right there. And if it's the same thing if you guys open up the passenger door like this. You guys can see the two screws are there on that trim and two over here. These ones are a little bit more rusty and those are two holding it on top. So once I pull those screws out, I should be able to pull out the chrome trim from the bottom right there. And then most likely this side is almost done on how it's working guys. All right guys, so to remove this thing right here, this back little B pillar style window thing, um, I removed it on the opposite side if you guys can see that's how it looks so it's just a little plastic metal piece that goes underneath it and this the back side there are no bolts holding this one on if you guys can see and that's how it came off nothing broke it all came out perfectly and if you guys can see that so the main thing pin is there's a pin up on the top and then it just kind of snaps into these little clip things right here you guys can look at all that dirt there Imagine if I didn't take it off and I wouldn't be able to deal with this rust right here and do such a good paint job. And I wouldn't be able to paint this piece that's right there. That's metal, guys. I wouldn't be able to treat that metal right there as well. If you guys can see, it really does make a big difference. You can really get to the door compared to this side. As if you would just open this one up. You have all that right there to take care of if you would just tape up and not really deal with that and try dealing with work around it like around here you if you guys can see right there they look there's a little crack right there to deal with and I'm looking down the line obviously the weather gasket's gonna have to be changed of course but the general look around the vehicle it's pretty well my main concern is for the rust right here I'm gonna really have to deal with I'm gonna have to do some cutting and some welding I'll just be welding one entire sheet i want to try not to cut it too high if you guys can kind of see there's the bend going right above right there so i don't want to cut it too high and so yeah that'll be the probably the main concern for this vehicle <laughs> so far for the body but underneath it does have some rust too obviously we'll need more control arms tie rods all that stuff i'm planning to redo everything change everything nice chrome ones to make it all proper it's gonna be most likely a frame off restoration guys we're gonna take this off the frame mostly do my brother he really doesn't want to take the interior out and the vinyl top but i'm telling him if you really want to restore the vehicle properly you really do got to take the seats out and stuff like that because there is so much rust underneath the vehicle like it's kind of hard to really show you guys but you guys get a glimpse back there like that is rusted there's a lot of rust underneath the vehicle and whatnot it's not that bad but it has been driven in canada and it has over 300,000 kilometers so i don't trust to see how solid those floors are right now so the best bet would be to take the carpet out you can always reinstall the carpet 
and make sure the floors are solid the first time so you don't gotta take everything apart have to deal with all the mess but yeah guys but the way I really did take these things off I really did just pry it off with the the orange non modern pry bar tools and that took off so I just gotta take the opera lights off as well so I can see everything back here as well and looks pretty good my main concern right now is these chrome trims kind of things going around the doors because if you open the door and if you see screw hole right there okay I took that screw out there's not a screw there someone already took that one out over there I believe and you can't really just pull this out but if you look carefully like I don't know how I can kind of show you can kind of look through there you can see that there would be another screw in there definitely like there's one more screw right there down there it's kind of hard to tell but those screws you have to remove so I don't know if I'm gonna have to take the entire door panel from the inside out we have to see how it is but most likely I'm gonna have to take it off make this as much taken off as possible even the bumper is gonna come off as much the bottom top is gonna come off the windows are gonna stay on obviously the windows there's no cracks or anything but it's gonna get taped up and everything so it can get nice sanded down primer everything's gonna get done the metal everything best part about it is guys I don't have to do too much body work because it always already straight so you guys can kind of tell it's kind of hard to really tell in the camera I don't know if you guys can really tell but it is straight yeah guys